What's up YouTube and Amazon, Jefferson here with the starters page. And I got another rear view mirror camera system right here. This is the IH ReC dual lens camera system. I got this one on Amazon by the company name of Bingo Store. I'll link everything in the description box below so you guys don't have to worry about finding this particular one. So there's several reasons why I actually wanted to go with this system. One, it's actually more sleek and compact. Uh, don't have to deal with a lot of other things. It's very straightforward. And uh, the other reason was because I wanted to try a different camera system. So that's the reason why I bought it. Also, I wanted to give my brother a backup camera. So I'm not sure if I wanna keep this or give him my old one. But yeah, this is going to be just an unboxing and initial impressions video. Let's just open it up right here. It's, let me show you guys the packaging real quick. It's very, very simple. It comes with the sleeve right here, which is absolutely amazing. It has 120 degree uh, lens view on there, file locking, HD, DVR. So we'll see how high definition that is. Um, it also comes with a 2.7 inch TFT screen. I apologize for the noise, guys. <laughs> um, you have, the ability to take a picture on here and it has motion detect, which is super awesome. Pretty much standard with a rear view camera. So we'll see how well everything is integrated into the car. So it has a very simple packaging right here. You're presented with the rear view camera itself. I love how the menu options are just already here, which is very simple in my opinion. Comes with a protective film right there. So just take that off later after you install everything because you don't want the screen to get all dirty with your fingerprints. On the top, you have a mini USB connector. That's where you charge it. Uh, your AV in and that's actually where you plug in the rear view camera. And I'll show you guys that one in a bit. The TF card, which is also the micro SD card. And I believe it supports up to 32 gigabytes. Um, it doesn't seem like it's a lot, but trust me, you're able to actually pack in a lot in there. And your DC in on there. So I'm not too sure what the DC in, at least right now is. I like how it comes pre-installed with the hooks already on there. Uh, you just have to unhook it and just hook it back in. This actually keeps it in place for your rear view camera. So it stays there in there. So that's a really nice touch. And on the bottom of it, it also has paddings on there. And the paddings actually feels really good. So you won't scratch the rear view camera. I like that a lot. You also have a very tiny reset button right there on the, uh, on the back. And right next to it, you also have a microphone. So that's really awesome. It will record your audio in the car, which is absolutely amazing. Here is your uh, dash cam right here, which you can move around, which is really awesome. Uh, I like everything about it so far, my initial impressions. Uh, the buttons feels really, really good. And it's plastic, but it feels good. It has a really good feedback on there. That's how the actual dash cam is. Let's put that aside. Uh, you have a few other protective packaging right there. All right, so first, let's actually start off with the rear view camera. Again, guys, I apologize for the noise. All right, so with the rear view camera, here it this is how it looks like right here. It's already connected, which is really awesome. So this is the actual rear view camera right here, which is really awesome. It looks like it's the same exact camera and connector as my old one. Uh, camera seems to be a little bit bigger. That might be a plus. And I believe this is 120 degrees as well. And what I like about this is that it has the adhesive uh, padding on there. So you guys could, what I do is I use the adhesive to mount it on there and then use that to help uh, screw it on so it doesn't move around. So it's just like a, kind of like a two-way security on there. So it just, it's a good way to just keep your mount on there without slightly moving it around, which is really awesome. So I like that. Here is your connector right here. So this would actually plug into the actual rear view mount and this part right here, that's actually where you would uh, hook it up to your backup light. So whenever you put it in reverse, the rear view camera would actually pop up right here. So you, uh, that's a really awesome 
feature right there. This is where you connect it with your rear view camera. So that's pretty much it. And the cable is really, really long. So you guys should have plenty of space and room or slack. Next, you're supplied with two different cables. So this is just your traditional, I think six inch uh, mini USB cable, or it comes with a longer one, which I highly suggest using. And then this is the dedicated cigarette adapter. So you plug this into your cigarette light or your 12 volt uh, output in your car and you wanna plug this into the actual device itself. So that's pretty much it guys. Here's the instruction manual as well. It's not that intuitive to be honest, but I'll also be doing an installation video and a full review. So make sure you guys keep an eye out on that. Other than that, that's it. If you guys have any questions, put them in the comment box below. Make sure you guys keep an eye out for the installation video because I will be doing an installation video and the full review. It's not gonna be out for a while, but make sure you guys subscribe and that should be posted up hopefully soon. If you guys like this video or if you just found it helpful, give me a thumbs up, helps out my channel. And like always guys and girls, take care.